So Dr. Feynman, when a patient is talking with their care team about CAR T cell therapy, what questions should they be asking to help determine if CAR T is even right for them? You know, Catherine, that's an excellent question. So um, let's just say that somebody from Patient Empowerment Network heard about CAR T cell therapy for myeloma and then sought out a local institution that might be um, conducting that procedure. And so then they come for that visit and um, and you, what you mentioned was just spot on, you know, getting a list of questions together. What we do at my institution, as well as many throughout the country, is a process called shared decision making. And you might have talked about this on prior webinars, but shared decision making occurs when that healthcare team, such as the physician, nurse practitioner, pharmacist, whoever, um, shares information with the patient and their care partner. You mutually share information to arrive at a decision. And so many studies have been done on shared decision making. It's done in many different areas. And so through that sharing of information, you might think of different, um, different questions. Um, some of the things that I try to proactively offer, you know, we all have our lists of, of things that we educate our patients on, but some of the things I proactively um, will recommend to patients and their care partners when you're seeking an opinion at these centers is, um, what are the, uh, how long will I be sick? What are the biggest side effects of the medication that I have to worry about? Um, asking your your care team, I know it sounds silly, but are they aware of all your prior health concerns? And, and if, especially if you're coming for an evaluation, maybe you have peripheral neuropathy where you have numbness and tingling in your fingers or toes or, or a history of kidney disease. Your kidneys look fine now, but maybe a few years ago at the myeloma diagnosis, the kidneys had a temporary failing and now they're better. So they'd want to protect you with future medications. Um, how long will you have to take medications after the CAR-T procedure? There's antiviral medicines, antibacterial medications, and medications called IVIG, which strengthens your immune system. And then finally, um, asking about the infection protection afterwards. You know, do you have to re-get Regan, do you have to get vaccinated again against pneumococcal, shingles, and all of those other things that we do? The um, the cellular therapy guidelines suggest time points for one, three, five, et cetera, months after CAR T cell procedure to get revaccinated. So who's going to do that for you? How are you going to know what to get? So uh, make sure that they give you a timeline, calendars, and set expectations for what you need to do as a patient, and then you'll help them set expectations for what they need to do to provide you the uh, accurate e education.